my name is Sandra and welcome to my All Levels Pilates class. Um, well, what do we need? We need a mat and if you have a ring, feel free to use a ring. If not, no worries. Um, also, if you would have little weights, that would be really great, like two pounds or three pounds. If you don't have them, no worries again, but if you want to substitute, um, you know, maybe little water bottles or small, either soup cans or bean cans or any other cans uh, with the same weight in each hand, that would be a great option too. Um, otherwise, you can do the same thing. It's just a little added resistance in Pilates. It's really always just like a tiny bit of resistance and it's more repetition. So, so no worries here. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to start standing and we're going to work out our arms first um, but we're also going to um, include the rest of our body to uh, make it more efficient okay so I'm going to give you plenty of options so no worries right okay <laughs> if you have a ring and you want it grab it um, the ring would go on the inside uh, two to five inches above the knee um, for inner thigh activation let's say you have um, a block you want to use or a, a small ball you, you could as well right if not you would um, just not have the ring you could bend your knees you could also releve I'm going to releve meaning my I'm lifting my heels off the ground and I'm going to come to that plie I'm going to slide down as if sliding down like a wall with my back so I'm going to tuck the pelvis so I have a straight spine right there is no None of this going on, right? We're not leaning forward, we're actually tucking belly button to spine and then the pelvis under. Okay, another option if you don't want to bend your knees would be to have extended legs and bring the inseams of your legs together and turn your, your ball mounts out, right? So you decide where you want to be at. I know that a lot of people have rings and that's just why I'm giving the option as well, right? So, inhale, lift your heels off the ground, exhale, hug the belly button tight. So, either with weights, any kind of weights in your hands on one, reach your arms forward, exhale, pull your elbows straight back. So, we're really trying not to drop the elbows on the way back, exhale back. I like to start this way because it always kind of helps to get your balance going and get into the rhythm of breathing. So, in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth goes the Pilates press. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, pull back. Sink a little lower if you're working with a plie. Exhale back, inhale, reach, exhale back. We have three more. Forward, exhale, pull back. Inhale, reach forward, exhale. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and open your chest, your heart. Exhale, last one here. Halfway up for your arms, we're going to start with little pulses with the palms facing forward. Draw your shoulders away from the ears, really creating space there between the ears and your shoulders, right? Your traps relax, slight tuck of your chin towards your throat. So this way you're creating also more lengths in the back of your neck. Four, three, two, one. We're going to come in. Eight, seven, six. Turn your palms to face towards your five. Four, three, two, and one. Back up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last time out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay right here. Take an inhale and exhale. Hug your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, center, exhale, tilt to the right. Inhale, center, exhale up. It requires a little bit of balancing. Inhale, center, exhale right. But that's another thing that's really important to work into it. Balance. Inhale, center, exhale left. One more each way. Exhale right. Inhale, center, exhale left. Come back to center. Extend your arms fully. And then exhale, bend them to halfway, right? 90 degree angles. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, reach. Exhale, halfway. Sink a little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to your pulses. Stay where you are with your pulses. My heels, by the way, are still lifted. As are yours. <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're staying here. Extend and bend your arms, keeping your elbows in place. Five, four, 
three, draw your shoulders away from your ears, two, and one more. Stay here, little pulse to stay in place. Eight, seven, six, sink a little lower if you can. Five, four, belly button tighten. Three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn your palms to face each other. Bring your wrists and your elbows together. And we're gonna pull up. So it's all about lifting, right? Not about lowering. Eight, seven, six, belly button is tight. Five. Four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open up, should feel really good. So now we're going to turn the palms so they face each other, but we're going to come into WV. So bring it down, inhale, reach up, find your V, exhale, bring it down, W. Inhale, reach, exhale in. Inhale, reach shoulders, stay softly away from the ears when you're smiling. <laughs> Inhale, reach, exhale, lowers. Inhale, reach, exhale, lowers. Inhale, reach, exhale, lowers. We have four more, and then we're going to switch to the legs. Four, three, two, and one more. Bring it down, bring your hands to heart center. Maybe a shoulder roll here, inhale up, exhale, release it down. And then with or without any resistance in between your legs, little pulses in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Belly button is tight and your chest is open and your spine is tall and vertical. Two, three, four, five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay here. If you have resistance, a little bit of pressure there. And we're going to finish our arms. Inhale, forward, exhale like we started. Pull back without dropping your elbows on the way back. Inhale, reach, exhale back. Inhale, reach, exhale back. Inhale, reach, exhale back. For four, three, two, and one more. Reach forward, we're going to come into scissors, we're going to alternate which palm is on top, but the palms themselves are facing down, four, three, two, one, turn it up, so palms face now up, face up now, sorry, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, back down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, turn them up, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Three huggers, fingertips touch, draw your shoulders down. So shoulders, elbows, wrists, same height. Inhale, opens your heart, your chest, exhale, brings it in. Inhale, opens, exhale in. Four, four, three, two, and one more. Bring your arms forward, bring your either your hands together or cross your weights if you have any kinds of weights. And then exhale, bend your elbows. Elbows are no further apart than shoulder width. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Draw your shoulders down and away from the ears. Belly button is really tight. This is called shaving. It's an original Pilates move. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Bring your arms down, take a shoulder roll. Inhale, lift your shoulders, exhale, back and down. We finish with our little combination move. So arms forward, exhale, pull your elbows back, then bring them into the waistline, back to the side, halfway. Fully extend, halfway. Flat. Reach your arms forward, exhale, pull back and in. Let's add a little bit of tempo out. Halfway, fully extend, halfway. Flat. Reach forward, pull back and in. Back out, halfway, fully extend, halfway, flat. Reach forward, exhale, pull back, and in. We have four more. Halfway, fully extend, halfway, flat. Reach forward, exhale, pull back, and in. Three more out. Halfway, fully extend, halfway, flat. Reach forward, exhale, pull back, and in. Two more. Out. <laughs> halfway, fully extend, halfway, flat. Reach forward, exhale, pull back. Elbows in, last one out. Halfway. Fully extend, halfway, flat. Reach forward, exhale, pull back into the waistline. Bring your arms down, take a big shoulder roll, inhaling, 
saving. So if you have the ring, just place it to the side. And I have actually your weights as well. We are with those. Well, hmm, let's see. If you want weights, you can have them. So we're going to finish our little warm up here by being uh, in second position, or a little further apart, small of the sumo squat. And then exhale, tuck the pelvis under and lower down, right? So if you wanted, you could either have uh, no weights or weights. Um, lift your arms up and start pulsing. So belly button is tight, shoulders still reach away from uh, the ears, even though your arms are up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift your right heel up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Left heel up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to alternate heels, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Two and one. Bring both heels down, bring your hands down, but keep your chest forward and lifted, right? And your gaze as well. We're going to come right into cougar, so start pulsing through your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift your heels if you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have eight more. Keep your chest forward and lifted. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your heels down. Now keep your hips where they are. Lift your arms. Take an inhale. Then exhale, reach to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, last time on the left. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs now and exhale your arms down <sighs> by your sides. Going to stretch it out if you have the weights. Put them aside. Inhale. Let your arms rise. Cross your wrists. Have your palms meet. And then exhale. Bring it over towards the right. Oh, take another breath cycle. Like you should feel good. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, center. Exhale. Bring it over to the left. Inhale, center. Lift your hips forward. So if you want a back bend and that feels okay to your lower and mid back, and then come back to a neutral spine. Exhale. Bring your arms out wide. And then from here, bring your heels out so you can hinge forward with a flat back, taking a little additional stretch here. Inhale. Then exhale, option to bring your right hand down in the center as your left thumb rises. Maybe your gaze goes up towards your left thumb. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, center. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches up. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, take your right hand down, bring your heels in. Bend your knees so you can roll up one vertebra at the time. Inhale, lift your shoulders. Exhale, and down. And we're ready to go to the mat. So remember, you are um, never using your hands to sit down, if avoidable. So bring one foot in front of the other. And uh, today I'm going to put my, my goofy foot in front. You know, it's good to switch it up. And there's always one that we prefer that over time becomes easy and it's nice to struggle every now and then because you know then you feel after a while that you're making progress so struggle is good <laughs> okay so scooch back a little bit so you can bring your feet out as far as you can where the ball mounts still touch down inhale lift your chest draw your shoulders back and exhale hug that belly button towards your spine reach your arms forward so whenever you uh, have a ring and you know how to use it, you know, feel free to use it. I'm going to try to uh, do a lot without it just in case, you know, um, some of you might not have a ring. So inhale, chest lifts, and then hinge as far as you can with that nice straight spine. And then exhale, tuck, pull down. Inhale, reach overhead, and without touching the head down, the head never touches down. Um, and the thumbs or the ring never touch down either, right? So, and then bring your arms back to be vertical. Exhale, draw the shoulders down into the shoulder sockets. Knit the ribs into the center line and exhale, press down through the upper back. So that in the beginning, I always like to explain imprinting. That's what we're doing. So tuck the pelvis under. So if you're 
slightly lifting your hips and then you're exhaling, pressing back down as your navel also draws towards, uh, towards the spine. So you're implanting through the upper, mid and lower back, meaning your spine becomes flush to the ground and there is no light shining through because it's glued to the mat, right? <laughs> there is no arching going on. So always super important and Pilates may be the most important. I think it's the most important thing. So inhale, as you're exhaling, tuck the chin towards the throat and then curl off, right? Articulating your spine up off the ground, eventually let your arms rise as you're stacking your spine and then exhale, hinge back first with your nice straight spine and reach your arms forward and tuck the pelvis roll down, inhale overhead. So now we're going to add 10 more vertical arms, exhale, tuck, inhale, lift, two more like this, exhale, hinge, tuck, pull down, inhale, overhead, vertical, exhale, tuck, inhale, lift, last one, exhale, hinge, tuck, pull down, inhale, overhead, vertical, exhale, tuck, inhale, lift. All right, so what we're going to do is lift the right leg up high, hinge back, and then exhale, we're going to twist to the right, inhale, center, exhale, twist right, inhale, center, exhale, twist right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist right. Last one, inhale, center, exhale, twist right. If you can, keep your right leg lifted. You can always opt out and bring the foot down. Tuck, pull down. Inhale, overhead, back to vertical arm. Exhale, tuck, inhale, stack the spine. Right foot comes down, left leg lifts. Knees try to be on the same plane here, right? So exhale, twist left. We have four times. Inhale, center, exhale, twist left. Inhale, center, exhale, twist left. Last time, inhale, center, exhale, twist left. Keep the leg lifted if you can. Exhale, tuck, pull down, inhale, reach overhead. Come back to vertical arms, exhale, tuck, and inhale, lift, right? Bring your left foot down, extend your legs. If you want more, you can stick with those knees bent. If you have your legs extended to bring your heels together, toes apart, for the Pilates V turnout. Reach your arms forward. So lift your chest, fill it with air. So from the tailbone out through the crown straight line. And then exhale, start tucking the pelvis under. So you can articulate your spine down, but with the heels still grounding down. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Remember, you're imprinting through all three parts of the spine, right? And you're reaching your arms overhead. The thumbs don't touch down. The head doesn't touch down. Vertical arms, exhale, reach forward and inhale, stack the spine. All right, we're going to do with a little more tempo here, three more like this. Inhale overhead, vertical, exhale, tuck, inhale, lift. If you need to modify, bend to your knees. You can even reach underneath your knees. Inhale overhead, vertical, exhale, tuck to help yourself up. Inhale, stack, last one, hinge, tuck, pull down. Inhale overhead, vertical, exhale, tuck. Inhale, lift. So now here, lift both legs up, briefly reach behind your knees and see how that helps you, just the reaching behind the knees. So you're able, sorry, to straighten your spine, draw your shoulders back and lift your chest. So maybe that's where you need to be at. Maybe you can let go of your legs, reach your arms forward, or maybe you can extend your legs, heels together, toes apart. You decide. Upper body goes up and down. We're going to do teaser twos. Tuck lower. Inhale overhead. Back to vertical arms. Exhale. Tuck. Inhale. Lift and reach. Right. Exhale. Tuck. Pull down. Inhale overhead. Vertical. Exhale. Tuck. Inhale. Lift. We have two more like this. And then we're going to add three pulses. Overhead. Vertical. Exhale, tuck, inhale, lift, and reach. Last one, tuck, pull down, inhale, overhead, vertical. Exhale, tuck, reach up. Yes, now we're going to add three, two, and one. Tuck, pull down, inhale, overhead, vertical. Exhale, tuck, lift up, three, two, and one. We have two more, and then we are ready to stretch it out. Vertical, exhale, tuck, lift up, three, Two and one. Last one. Tuck, pull down. Inhale, overhead, vertical. Exhale, tuck. Lift up. Three, two, and one. Bring your volumes down. Take your hands past your hips. Heels are lifted. Inhale, lift your chest. Draw your shoulders back. And then start windshield wiping side to side. Should feel really good. 
All right. So, once you're coming back to center, we're going to stretch it out some more. Bring your feet back out, or mount still down, but as far as you can, other than that, exhale, tuck more down. Extend your left leg long as you're inhaling, hugging your left knee into your chest. Then exhale, bring your, your right knee into your chest, I'm sorry. Bring the right knee across the body to the left while you're teeing out your right arm to the right. Try to keep that right shoulder grounded and gaze over towards your right. Open palm. So this should be an awesome stretch for your lower back and the right and right obliques. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Bring it back to center, switch legs, left knee, not really the left knee comes in and extend your right leg long pointed toe on the right and on the left. Inhale, hug it in. Exhale, the left knee comes across the body to the right. Tee out your left arm to the left, keep that left shoulder grounded, and then gaze over towards your left open palm. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Bring it back to center, lift your legs to a tabletop position, maybe lift your hips a little bit so you're really making sure you're not arching, right? So we want to imprint through the spine again, right? In here. So if you can, lift your head, neck and shoulders, bring your fingertips behind that back with your elbows wide. Then draw your knees, we're going to do the double leg stretch, draw your knees a little closer than you usually would in a tabletop, just enough so you can reach with your palms for your shins. Keep a chin tuck towards your throat, and you're, as you're extending your arms and legs and maybe lowering them, your gaze always stays forward towards your ankles or knees, right? And your head never comes down. Inhale, extend and reach, maybe lower. Exhale, swim your arms around and place your palms back to your shins. Inhale, extend and reach. Exhale, swim them around and in. But the main thing is not the movement in your arms or your legs. It is to imprint. It is to not arch through the spine as you're going through your exercise regimen. Inhale, extend, exhale around and in. Inhale, extend, keep tucking your chin towards your throat so you're creating lengths in the back of your neck. And in. Inhale, extend, we have four more. Exhale, and now only three, you can do that. Inhale, extend, exhale around and in. Inhale, extend, exhale around and in. Last one. Inhale, extend, exhale, around and in. Bring your nose to your knees, briefly bring your knees to your nose, so that exhale, release your head, neck, and shoulders down. Open your mouth and wiggle your jaw. <sighs> Soften your shoulders. Inhale through the nose and exhale, maybe. <sighs> A side out through the mouth. All right, so from here, find happy baby real quick. So you're reaching from the inside of your legs, over the tops of your feet for the outside edges. You're trying to have your lower legs vertical, and you're trying to exhale, pull down on the outside edges of your feet, so your knees come a little closer to the ground on both sides of, of your torso, and then also you're trying to bring your tailbone closer to the ground, so you're kind of stretching out your lower back there a little bit too. All right, so. And then bring your legs back to a tabletop position. We're going to come right into press cross. So inhale, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Extend and lower your right leg to a hover. And then exhale, twist to the left as your right shoulder lifts off the ground and the right elbow goes towards or past the left knee. Inhale, back to center, right knee meets left. Exhale, extend and lower the left leg. Center, left, center, right. So continue to go through the movement, um, knowing that every repetition is as important as the one before and the one that comes after, right? So we're working with precision and control, and we're really trying to focus on form every time we're twisting. So we're lifting that shoulder, we're rotating away from you, keeping our elbows wide, and we're extending and lowering the leg, we're rotating away from this side. Five, four, Three, two, and one. If you want to switch to extended legs with an external rotation. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
Bring the knees into your chest. Once again, bring the nose to the knees, knees to the nose. And then exhale, release your head, neck and shoulders down. Soften your jaw, soften your shoulders. Inhale through the nose and exhale. <sighs> Let it go. Maybe slowly move your head side to side. Just to release the side muscles in your neck, right? <sighs> side out. When you're ready, and then from here, we're going to move on. Have your uh, legs in a tabletop position again. Now flex your feet, right? So for the first one, option arms down. You're going to come to grasshoppers. Arms down by your sides. Tuck your shoulders under. And then palms down, facing down. Head, neck, and shoulders down with a slight chin tuck toward the throat. That's option one. Option two, fingertips behind the head. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders with your elbows nice and wide. And then bring your knees apart. So now your heels are together, but your knees are apart. Your feet are dorsal flex, frog feet, right? And then as you're inhaling, extending your legs, the inseams of your legs come together. Then exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, extend, and maybe lower if you can without using your pelvic tuck. Exhale, bring it back in. And you only need to come back in up to the point where your upper legs are vertical, right? There is no point in drawing it in towards the chest. Exhale in. Inhale, extend the legs, and exhale, brings them in. Inhale, extend, and only lower your legs if you can without starting to arch for any part of the spine. Exhale in. Four, four. Exhale in. Inhale, extend, exhale in. That is three. Keep your belly button hugging tight towards your spine. Exhale in. Two. Inhale, extend, and exhale in. One more. Inhale, extend, and exhale in. So now release your head, neck, and shoulders down. Bring your arms down. Bring your right leg over your left. Curl them around, making the rope shape. Inhale, and then exhale. Bring your knees to the left. Release for one breath cycle. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhale, bring it back to center. Uncurl, bring the left knee over the right. Twirl it around, inhale. And then exhale, bring the legs to the right and shift your gaze over towards the left. One breath cycle here. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale, bring it back to center. And once again, you find that same position. I'm just going to turn around briefly to make sure you can really see um, what I mean here by a tabletop, flex feet, and then opening the knees, right? So I'm going to, well, I'm going to invite everybody now to lift head, neck, and shoulders, right? Lift a little higher, and then extend your legs until the inseams of your legs are together, right? See how my ball mounts are apart, my heels together, and then exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, and exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, and maybe lower, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, and maybe lower, exhale, bring it in. Two more. Inhale, extend, and maybe lower. Exhale, in. One more. Inhale, extend, maybe lower. Exhale, bring it in. Now stay here with your legs. And then exhale, twist to the left, lifting your right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right, left elbow, right knee. Lifting the left shoulder. Center. Exhale, left. Just continue to go side to side. Center. Exhale, left. Center. Exhale, right. Center. Exhale, left. Center, exhale, right, center. Keep your knees apart, keep your heels connected so your heels never come apart. Center, exhale, right, center, exhale, left, center, exhale, right, center, last time, exhale, left, come back to center. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, and now bring your elbows to your knees and your knees to your elbows. I'm going to turn around because the side view is better now. And you here, I believe. So exhale, now the elbows point forward, right? And then they don't need to actually touch, but they come towards each other. Inhale, extend and lower your legs and your upper body so it's hovering, but you have your pelvic tuck still here. Exhale, bring it in, elbows to knees, knees to elbows. Inhale, opens, exhale in like a flower opening and closing. Inhale, opens, exhale in. Inhale, opens, exhale in. We have four more. Inhale, opens, exhale in. 
Inhale, opens. Exhale, in two more. Inhale, opens. Exhale, in one more. Inhale, opens. Exhale. Hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around them and exhale. Bring your head, neck and shoulders down and turn your head to the right. Deep inhale through the nose and then exhale. <sighs> Let it go. Inhale back to center with your head. And then exhale, turn your head towards the left. Inhale back to center. And guess what? We're going to finish our uh, abdominal series here on our backs with uh, Pilates 100, little combination thing. And then we're all done, we go to side leg, okay? So, tabletop position. Lift your hips just to make sure that you're imprinting and not arching, right? And then the ribs into the center line. Exhale, belly button like an anchor towards the spine, right? So, imprinting here. So this can be a starting position for Pilates 100. I'm going to give you all kinds of options in just a second. I want you to inhale, bring your fingertips behind the head first. Elbows wide, tuck the chin towards the throat so your shoulders are off the ground. And then on your next inhale, reach your arms forward with the palms facing down. We're going to start pumping. Remember that chin tucked towards the throat. Option two is extended legs, vertical heels together, toes apart. Pilates knee turn up. And option three is lowering your legs, but only if you can do that without uh, losing your pelvic tuck and without losing your imprint, right? Two, three, four, five. It's a five count inhale through the nose and a five count exhale out through the mouth. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep tucking your chin towards your throat to lace it through the back of your neck. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Little breast pumps with the palms. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Hold it here. Bring your fingertips behind the head to help your necks out. We're going to do four scissors down for up, right? So extend your legs, bring them a little away from you, pass vertical, and then four, three, two, one down, and then up, four, three, two, one down, four, three, two, one down. Don't forget to imprint, four, three, two, one most important thing, down, four, three, two, one up, four, three, two, one last, four, three, two, one up, four, three, two, and one. Find your position you're going to be in to finish your Pilates 100. You decide bent knees, vertical extended legs, or a little away from you. So you decide. Reach your arms forward, palms facing back. If you can, lift your shoulders off the ground, tuck your chin towards your throat. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep drawing your belly button towards your spine, imprinting through your mid back, lower back, and knitting the ribs into the center line, pressing it down through your upper back. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more rounds. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three. Four, five, two, three, four, five. Happy baby. So release your head, neck, and shoulders down. Catch your feet. Ah, side out. Soften your shoulders. Open your mouth and wiggle your jar. Make any funny noises that you like to make that feels that feel like that you're releasing tension. Maybe sway side to side and bring your tailbone a little closer to the round. Shoulders soft. Jaws now relaxed. Hopefully. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep your right foot and then just release your left leg down but uh, pulling the knee down on the outside of your right shoulder. Flexed right foot, pointed toes on the left and then your left hand may rest on your left hip to keep it grounded. Inhaling and exhaling back to a happy baby. Catch your left foot, exhale, release the right half, happy baby, opposite side, right palm may rest on the right hip, pointed toe on the right, strong flex on the left, draw the knee down towards the mat outside of your left shoulder, inhaling and exhaling. All right, so we're going to do a couple spinal rocks right first. So it's kind of like a spinal massage and you're trying to keep the 
same shape in your leg, so you're not trying to kick it out, right? We're not doing any of this, so we're going to stay with like 90 degree bends-ish, right? And you're not trying to not touch the ball mounts down. So in the, draw your knees towards you. Um, so you could reach behind uh, your knees. So the classic Pilates way is actually to have the palms on the shins, right? Let's try with the ones behind the knees first, unless you know how to do it. Inhale in, exhale, rock on up, right? And you're hovering the feet and the shape of my legs doesn't change. I'm not kicking it out, right? That's cheating. <laughs> and you want to come into a C-curve uh, from the tail to the crown. You want to really make that letter C shape, right? And then elbows out to the side, shoulders are away from the ears. So inhale, let's you come back, exhale, back up, right? So if you want to try to bring your palms to your shins, you can. So that's kind of in Pilates the classic way because it really keeps you from kicking your legs out. <laughs> right? Inhaling, exhaling. Try to really keep your seat curve. And when you're coming up, to not touch the toes up. Inhaling and exhaling three more. Inhaling and exhaling two more. Inhaling and exhaling one more. Inhaling and exhaling. I have moved along on my mat for some reason, so I'm going to have to switch back. I'm going to let you try um, the seal uh, as well. Always, for some reason, it always makes people laugh, but then, you know, that's, that's good. Laughing is good. So come on down, roll down, and then reach, have your knees wide, right? Reach from the inside over your ankles, right? So I'm going to turn it down to you. Yeah, so you can see, reach from the inside over to out, and then take your palms and bring them over your ankles. So you're eventually you're going to rock up. Now I'm going to turn sideways, right? So you're going to... Rock on up, right, with the C-curve, still that round spine, right? But that doesn't mean your shoulders rise like I did. You actually want to draw the shoulders still away from the ears and rounds through the spine. All right, so we're going to actually add claps too if you want to. So that's really the classic mat one way. So inhale back, clap, clap, exhale up, clap, clap. Inhale back, clap, clap, exhale up. Clap, clap. Inhale, clap, clap. Exhale, clap, clap. Inhale, clap, clap. Exhale, clap, clap. And you do not have to come all the way onto your shoulders. You can stop at your shoulder blades. Exhale, clap, clap. Inhale, clap, clap. Exhale, clap, clap. One more. Inhale, clap, clap. Exhale, come on up. And if you can, maybe you start catching your big toes. And you're starting to extend your legs. Maybe this is where you're at with bent knees. Maybe you can fully extend your legs. Lift your chest and have a straight spine now. Inhaling and exhaling wherever you are. One more breath cycle. Inhaling and then exhaling. Bring your legs down. Turn to your left side so you can see me. Okay. So we're going to lie down on the left side. Um, and uh, we're going to come right into our side leg series part of the field five. Um, it's called clamps. <laughs> so coming from seals to clamps. <laughs> uh, your left elbow is down, left elbow is right underneath uh, your left shoulder. You're lifting through your left rib cage, right? So this is an option. It is also an option to come down and have your left ear in, uh, your left palm in. Now, the ear in the left palm, so that's what I meant to say. So this is a little bit easier. The other version is a little more advanced. Well, why don't we start here, unless you know the advancement, how it's called in Pilates, you can go to it, okay? So your shins line up with the front edge of the mat, your feet are flexed, right? So you have about nine degree angles in your legs, and then you lift your feet off the ground. You have frog feet as you're lifting and lowering your right knee. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifts, exhale, lowers. Inhale, lifts, exhale, lowers. Either keep your right hand on your right hip or bring your right fingertips behind the head. So the idea here is that you are uh, moving your right limb without uh, 
moving any other body parts, right? The rest of your body is very, very busy holding and engaging, right? Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to add on. So we're going to go knee to knee, heel to heel. Knee to knee, heel to heel. If at any point you need to bring down your left ankle, it will shorten your range of motion. But, you know, it is a little easier, so you see what you need. Heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel, knee to knee. So, now focus towards your right hip. Is it still? It's supposed to be still. So, you're trying to keep your right hip still, even though you're rotating through that right leg. Isolated movement, right? Heel to heel, knee to knee. Heel to heel, knee to knee. Heel to heel, knee to knee. Keep going. You're almost there. Knee to knee, heel to heel. Knee to knee, heel to heel, three minutes in a room. So you are heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel, knee to knee, and one more heel to heel, knee to knee. And we're going to add on again. So heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. Right? Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. And we want to uh, extend that right leg always in that same angle, knee to knee, extend, heel to heel, knee to knee, extend in the same angle on top of the left leg. So hold it here for a second as you're extending. You could draw a line down from your right knee to your left knee and it would be vertical, right? Because it comes out in the same angle, right? Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. 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 One more. Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. So now we're going to reverse the flow. Okay, we're going to go knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. But the leg still comes out in the same angle, extend. Knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. Yes, it requires a little bit of concentration, but that's excellent Alzheimer prevention, I tell you. Jogging the brain. <laughs> Heel to heel, extend, knee to knee, heel to heel, extend, knee to knee, heel to heel, extend, knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. We have three more. Knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. You should be starting to feel that now. Extend one more. Knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. Stay right here. We're going to have our drop uh, catches. So we lift the right leg. But what, because we are lifting the right leg, it doesn't mean the right hip goes back. It actually doesn't. It doesn't move, right? Exhale. Drop catch the right leg when it's parallel to the ground. Inhale. Lift the right leg up without shifting the right hip back. Exhale. Drop catch. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Drop catch. Your left leg is still. Exhale. Drop catch. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Drop catch. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Drop catch. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Drop catch. We have four more. Exhale, up, catch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up, catch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up, catch. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up, catch. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up, catch. Lift to the highest point. Pointed toe. This is our last change. We have eight circles each way. Eight tiny circles, right? Precision and control. Seven, six. Rest of your body is still five, four, three. Two and one opposite way. Oh, yes, I feel it. Two, seven, six, five, four. Yes, you can. Come on. Three, two, and one more. Oh, bring it down. Yes. So let's get into the fascia. That's the connecting tissue of your roots here. Um, so either with the, you know your palm, heel of your hand, or you can use your knuckles too to just loosen it up a little bit. And then inhale and help yourself up, staggering your knees. Bring your right hand to your right ankle. Inhale, let your left arm rise and exhale. Reach over, so creating lengths in your left side body. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, come back to center. We're going to stay on the same side for now. Just for now, not long. All right, we're going to come into a hot potato. So bring your left arm either long, maybe towel between ear and arm, or bend your elbow, right, straight line, left elbow, shoulder, hips. Actually, we're going to extend our legs fully towards we're at the back edge of the mat or towards the back edge. Our legs are in line with our upper body. 
Now you lift your legs up, you bring your legs forward to the front right corner with an external rotation, right? And then inhale, lift the, uh, le the right leg up with this external rotation, right? And then right into hot potato, flex forward, point center, flex back, point center, flex forward. Bring your right fingertips behind the head if you want a little bit more. You could also reach for your right hip or you could bring your fingertips down in front to stabilize, right? See where you need to be at. So we're going to alternate between pointing and flexing as the right leg lifts up and down, right? Point center, flex forward, point center, flex back. So, so and it, it goes not just up and down, it goes forward and back, back. Up, forward, up, back, up, forward, up, right? So continue. And the more you really focus on uh, alternating between pointing and flexing and the higher you lift that uh, right leg with your external rotation in the center, the more efficient the movement will become. Have your belly button towards your spine and then we all meet back in the center. Pointed toes on the right, right? We're going to come into big circles, pom pom de jambes. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, back and around. Inhale, forward, exhale, back and around. Inhale, forward, exhale, back and around. Hips are still. Exhale, back and around. Inhale, forward, exhale, back and around. I'm counting. Exhale, back and around. Inhale, forward, exhale, back and around. Two more. Inhale, forward, exhale, back and around. Last inhale. And exhale. Start restacking, right? So right hip on top of left hip, belly button is tight, opposite way. Inhale, reach back, exhale, forward and around. Inhale, back, exhale, forward and around. Inhale, back, hips are still, forward and around. Inhale, back, exhale, forward and around for more. Back, exhale, forward and around. 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 Let's do one more. Inhaling and exhaling. Very nice. Let's bicycle it out. So we are trying to move the right leg parallel to the ground. It's just flushing it out a bit, right? Going forward first, pointing and flexing, and then switching the direction of your bicycle kicks here, going the opposite way. Inhaling and exhaling. One more inhale and exhale. Very nice. Okay, from here, come on up, stagger your knees once again, reach for your right ankle, inhale, left arm reaches up, and exhale over, creating legs in your left side, body again, come back to center, we switch sides, set, rock on back, lift your legs, exhale, tuck them under on the opposite side, so once again, you get to choose if you um, want to be up here, right, or well, I'm going to demo with uh, my right arm. Uh, down and then I bend from the elbow and place my uh, ear into my palm, right? So, and then take your knees, bend them to 90 degrees, flex your feet and line up your shin, sh shins <laughs> with the front edge of the mat, right? Hips are stacked, belly button is tight, and then lift your feet off the ground, right? Coming back to our clams of the Fetal 5 series, and then from here, um, you're going to Lift the left knee and then exhale lower. So as you're lifting, see how my ball mounts come apart because I have those strongly dorsal flexed frog feet. That's what you want. Inhale, lift, exhale, lowers. Keep your left hip still. Lowers. Inhale, lift, exhale, lowers. So keeping your left hand on your hip is a good way to have an indicator if your hip is moving. If you are a little bit more intermediate to advanced, and you can bring your left hand behind your head because you know you can stabilize without moving. Otherwise, you know, choose your options. You can always have your left fingertips down in front to help you stabilize, but never, you know, holding on for dear life with pressure in the fingertips, right? We want to avoid that. We have two and one. So now let's add on. We're going to do knee to knee and heel to heel. So we are rotating through the top leg, right? while holding your right leg absolutely still, heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel, belly button is tight, knee to knee, heel to heel, 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 keep on moving, rotating through that 
uh, one limb only while the rest of your body is very busy stabilizing. Well, uh, you might get a little bit qu more quickly tired on this side because your stabilizing side has been working hard already before. So, but you know, we'll see. We're all going to make it knee to knee, heel to heel. Knee to knee, heel to heel. We have three more. Knee to knee, heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel, knee to knee, heel to heel. Let's meet the knees again. And then heel to heel. Now we're going to add on, right? We're going to go heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. Remember, the left knee is on top of the right knee. If you would draw a straight line down there, right? So heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. 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 Heel to heel, knee to knee, belly button is tight, extend. We're almost there to, to reverse the flow. Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. Your left hip is totally still, knee to knee, extend. Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. Last one. Heel to heel, knee to knee, extend. We're going to reverse the flow. Knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. Leg still comes out when you extend it exactly the same way. Knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. Belly button is tight. We're getting there. Heel to heel, extend. Knee to knee, heel to heel, extend. Knee to knee, belly button is tight. Left hip does not move, extend. We have two more. Knee to heel to heel, extend. Knee to knee, heel to heel, extend and stay. Inhale, drop catches, lift the left leg. Exhale, drop catch it when it's parallel to the ground. Inhale, lift, your left hip does not go back. Exhale, drop catch. Inhale, lift, 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 exhale, drop catch for more. Inhale, lift, exhale, up, catch. We're almost there. Inhale, lift, exhale, up, catch. Only two more. Inhale, lift, exhale, up, catch. Inhale, lift, exhale, up, catch. Now lift it up. Point, last change, circles. Tiny ones, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Opposite way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Ah, bring it down. Get into your fascia, your connecting tissue. Right heel of your hand, knuckles, flat palm, right to the side. Ah, side out, then help yourself up. Stagger your knees, reach for your left ankle. Inhale, right arm, lift and exhale. Reach over, creating that nice length in your right side body. Inhale, center, exhale. Bring it down, lie down. And uh, we're going to come into hot potato, followed by grand vent de jambes, big circles, right? So, um, extend your right arm long, then bend your elbow if you want to, or place your ear onto maybe a towel between the shoulder and the ear to keep your spinal integrity. You always want to be so your head in line with the rest of your spine, at least-ish, and <laughs> heels together. Toes apart, straight line towards the back edge of the mat, then inhale, lift your legs up, bring them forward towards the front right corner, hips are still stacked, and you're exhaling, hugging that belly button tight, right? Coming into a hot potato, inhale, lift up in the center with a pointed toe, exhale, flex forward, inhale, point up in the center, exhale, flex back, adding tempo, flex, point, flex, point. And, uh, you know, you don't have to touch down with your heel. So you're pretending to, but you, if, uh, usually when you're touching your heel down, it will make your hip uh, wobble back and forth. We want to avoid that. In other words, it's more important for the hip to be still than to touch down. I'm not touching down either. So point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. And the more you're lifting, remember that from the other side, the, uh, with the pointed long leg, um, the more efficient it is, the more you're alternating between pointing and flexing, right? That is also making it more efficient. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, belly button is tight, no rocking through the hips. <laughs> point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, almost there. 
flex point, flex point, flex point, flex knee near the point. Remember external rotation on both feet, right? Now big circles. Inhale forward, exhale back and around. Inhale forward, exhale back and around. Inhale forward, exhale back and around. Forward, back and around. Four more in this direction. Exhale back and around. Inhale forward, exhale back and around. Inhale forward, exhale back and around. Last one. Exhale back and around. Come to your bicycles here. So pointing and flexing as you're going forward, breathe through it, inhaling, and exhaling, switch the direction of your circles, should feel good. All right, let's do one more here, and then bring it down, stay your knees again, come on up, reach for your left ankle with your left hand, inhale, reach your right arm overhead, exhale, creating more legs, inhale back to center, and we're going to come to uh, back extensions. So uh, lie down on your belly. Um, you can either just lower down, you could lower down from a tricep, either knees down or up, uh, push up, right? So shift forward, exhale, four, three, two, one, if you want to do it this way. I'm going to have to make sure that I have enough space. Yes, I do. And then hover your forehead, your arms extend forward, your legs extend back. We want to come right into um, swimming, right? So inhale, lift your arms and your legs up off the ground. Exhale, try to hug the belly button towards the spine and sink over the lifting the belly, belly button off the mat. Feel how your pubic bone is rounding down and then start alternating with your arms and legs coming into swimming. Eight, seven, six, belly button tightens, five, four, three, two, one. Lift a little higher if you can. Eight, seven, six, but don't strain your neck, slide, tuck up your chin towards your throat. Five, four, three, two, one, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your arms and legs further apart. Inhale, lift your arms and legs at the same time, superwoman and superman. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Oops, I feel the cat on my toe. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift, exhale, hover. Inhale, lift, exhale, hover. We have four. Lift and hover. Lift and hover. Lift and hover. Last one. Lift and exhale. Bring it down. Hands by ribs. Shift back into child's pose. Ah, breathe and release. Bring your arms forward. Fingertips down, maybe like spider fingers. Forehead and hover. Come down. Inhaling and exhaling. One more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Come back forward one more time. Lower down your own way. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. All right. So bring one hand on top of the other. Bring your forehead down. Bring your knees out right. So that the knees are at the outside edges of your mat, the feet are off the mat, dangling over. Relax your shoulders away from the ears and exhale, lift your belly button off the mat. Bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together. Inhale, lift your knees and upper thighs up. Only pubic bone rounds now. And then little lift through the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight more. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Lift your upper body, hold your legs still, and just pulse with your arms, with your head on top. Good. I'm still holding my knees and upper thighs off the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands with your head on top back down. Take your feet apart and shut that windshield wiper side to side. Inhale through the nose and exhale. <sighs> Let it go out through the mouth, right? Extend your legs, tuck your toes, lift your knees as a counter stretch. Inhaling. And exhale. And tuck your toes, bring your hands by your ribs and shift back into child's pose. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Let it go. One more, inhale, and 
exhale. Inhale, start to rise up. Reach your arms forward. Hi, Nala. This is Nala again. And then stand up with her using your hands, right? We're going to finish with a stretch and some flowers. So toes pointed out. Inhale, reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms up. Exhale, reach.